What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Got some quesadillas here. It's literally two o'clock in the afternoon. You only just get a crave for something. So this is one and a half quesadillas. Just cheese ones. I've used the rest of the tortillas I had. Um, what did I make with them again? Oh yeah, the burritos the, uh, a couple of mukbangs ago. But <gasps> they already char-grilled these from Aldi. Very nice they are. Mm. Extra mature cheddar cheese inside. Mm. These are lovely guys. So this is going to be super quick but I just thought I'm going to quickly set my camera up, get my mic out and just do a quick video for you. Mm. Or a drink of pop. Oh. Cheers. Oh. I'll not be wanting no tea tonight, guys. Went to my mum's this morning. I've already had a bacon sandwich as well this morning at my mum's. And I don't know, I just don't know why I was craving them. But I was. Mm. Oh, just bit my cheek. Eating too fast, that's why. Well, I went up the silver link today after my mum's. <clears throat> I'll go and get what I've got. Two seconds. So obviously the lovely Dean sent us a very generous donation in PayPal um, and one of the terms for him sending it was that I would go and buy these posh dogs from Marks and Spencers. He reckons they're absolutely gorgeous and he keeps mentioning them and I keep forgetting to um, get them every time I'm there. So that's them there. He says they're absolutely beautiful so I've got two packs and also while I was in Marxies, I've seen these onion rings. Oh, they look absolutely gorgeous. They're like proper, like real homemade ones. Obviously they're not homemade, but you know what I mean, like proper lovely batter. So I'll deep fry those. And also the lovely Suba um, Subzi. She sent us a lovely Lambuna recipe, as you know. Um, and I needed just a few extra things, the rest I've got already. So while I was in Moxie's, I got um, roasted garam masala. Hope that one will do. Um, cumin seeds. And last one, bay leaves. So they were the only three things I needed to complete the lambuna. Spices, like the only three spices I need. Um, obviously I need to buy the lamb and everything but I had every other ingredient in what I need so I'll be doing that one so I think I'm going to do the posh dogs um, tomorrow for tea for everyone um, and then I'll be going out um, so it's uh, Monday now I'll post this today because it's just going to be a quick little video for you I'll do the posh dogs tomorrow for tea and then when I'm out with me Nana on Wednesday 
I'll get the diced lamb and Thursday I will make the lovely lambuna curry. I can't wait to see how authentic it's like how authentic tasting it's going to be. I'll be super impressed if it tastes like half as good as like what I think lambuna should taste like. I'm excited to do those videos. Thanks again Dean for your generous donation. I was just sitting in my mum's and I thought I'm going to go to M&S for those and I also need to go to Asda and they're both like awkwardly quite far from where I live so after my mum's while well, I was sitting in my mum's and I thought I may as well just quickly get on the bus now and go straight up to Marks he's in the Silver Link it's not that far it's just there's only one bus that goes up there um, so I thought right I'm going to do it at least I've got them in and I've got them in Dean. So we'll put these to the test. Are they, are they as good as you say? <laughs> these were actually okay priced. Uh, the posh dogs were four pounds something. And the onion rings I think were two or three pounds something. But two of these were one fifty something and one was two pound. I don't know which one. But for Marxies, I thought that was quite reasonable because I mean they're quite big little jars. Big little jars. You know what I mean. I can't believe I'm eating this at this time. Hey, I was looking up doing the um Which I feel I would easily do. Um, no, I don't know if it's intermittent, intermittent. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Fasting. The 16A one. So just say from 8 o'clock at night till 12 the next day. Don't have anything to eat. Which obviously I could pe like pick at stuff like past 8 o'clock at night. But if I stop that. Not that I do it all the time, but I could, like, make myself some supper or something. So if I stop that, you know I don't really like having breakfast. So by dinner time, so from, right, and so from 8 o'clock at night till 12 the next day, that's your 16 hours fasting. So then you've got from 12 till 8pm that night to eat what you want to eat. Which I don't think... You would eat that much in them eight hours, so I might try doing that, guys, because I do I do need to nip me um nip me eating habits in the bud. <laughs> it's hard though, like I love food, guys, as you know, and I just think, oh, you only get one life. But then again, I live in leggings, and you don't realise the weight you are putting on. So I'm going to try that, guys. I was going to do um, calorie counting because the last time I done that a few years ago. I didn't feel like I was on like a diet because obviously you just count the calories you're consuming and it was really good but I'm not really in the mood to be counting calories so I'm going to do that because I think that's a good thing to say I had dinner at 12 and then me tea 5 6 o'clock at night that would be like two meals a day and then from 8 and allowed to have nothing else till 12 the next day and it's meant to be really good the uh, 16 8 I might also be talking pure gobbledygook because I change my mind as often as I change my niggas. <laughs> I'll give it a go though. I got weighed at my mum's today. Um, I haven't been weighed since beginning of June. And I felt like I was going to get a shock. I've put one pound on but I thought it was going to be a lot more guys so I was actually quite happy. So now I've got my new weight on my phone. I think I'm going to start that tomorrow. So I'll do mine tomorrow. So I'll start from like 8 o'clock tonight. 
and that'll be my first 16 hours by 12 tomorrow and then I'll probably just have a sandwich or something at 12 then I'll have my hot dog um, posh dogs like a tea time when they come in and that should do me fine she says scuffing cheesy quesadillas <laughs> down her neck see how it goes guys and that way it'll not affect me videos because I can still <clears throat> like if I'm only having like two like like a small meal and then a regular meal from like for me mukbangs it shouldn't affect me videos so I think that's the way forward I'll try it at least but I was surprised I had only put a pound on and when you just feel obviously I am putting weight on <clears throat> but I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it was Plus it's coming up to that time of the month like I'm due and you always like hold so I mightn't have actually put weight on because you do hold extra whatever you hold just before your mother nature calls. <laughs> but I think that'll be a good thing to try. I might cut all this out, you know, because I think once you start talking, well, it's not a diet, it's like a fasting thing, isn't it? Once you start talking like this, people might um, get sick. But that's what I've got in my mind to do. You wouldn't know nothing about it because, if I hadn't told you, it's because my food's going to look the same. But I've only got the 12 till 8, 8 hour window to eat. Mm. Two left guys. Oh well it's like 15 minutes so not too bad. Oh, it's a harvest moon as well, Pisces. Uh, was on this morning on the TV. <clears throat> and I was like, what's the harvest moon? I didn't really know nothing about it. And apparently it's like, um, tonight's the night to, I think it's 7.45. From 7.45 tonight. Just dream your biggest dreams, wish for your biggest wishes. And apparently it's that the harvest moon is the time to do it so i will be sending lots and lots out to the universe <laughs> see what comes back and blesses us <laughs> you never know i do believe in that like the manifestation and stuff i think if you really really believe and think you're um worthy and keep on asking for it and see you're going to get whatever you want um i think the universe will somehow bring it to you i do i do i do <clears throat> well i think i've rambled enough this was just a proper impromptu video guys oh stuff now but yeah that'll do me i'll literally have to in half an hour go and get the boys from school don't know what to make for tea tonight um there's chicken in the freezer. I might cook some chicken for Kenny and Ellis. Um, I might make a curry or something for those. And I'll just see if the kids want a pizza or something for tonight because I'll not be wanting nothing. And then tomorrow we'll try those lovely posh dogs. Right then guys, <clears throat> I'm going to go. If you like the video, please <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.